For years now, we've been told that cops need military weapons to wage the government's wars on drugs, crime, and terror. We've been told that cops need to be able to crash through doors, search vehicles, carry out roadside strip searches, shoot anyone they perceive to be a threat, and generally disregard the law whenever it suits them because they're doing it to protect their fellow Americans from danger. We've also been told that cops need extra legal protections because of the risks they take. None of this is true. In the American police state, police have a tendency to shoot first and ask questions later. In fact, police don't usually need much incentive to shoot and kill members of the American public. Police have shot and killed Americans of all ages, many of them unarmed for standing a certain way, or moving a certain way, or holding something, anything that police could misinterpret to be a gun, or igniting some trigger-centric fear in a police officer's mind that has nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with an actual threat to their safety. In recent years, Americans have been killed by police merely for standing in a shooting stance, holding a cell phone, behaving oddly, and holding a baseball bat, opening the front door, believe it or not, running in an aggressive manner, holding a tree branch, crawling around naked, hunching over in a so-called defensive posture, wearing dark pants and a basketball jersey, driving while deaf, being homeless, brandishing a shoehorn, holding a garden hose, and peeing outdoors. So, when police in Florida had to deal with a 19-year-old embarking on a shooting rampage inside Majori Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, what did they do? Nothing. There were four armed police officers, including one cop who was assigned to the school as a resource officer on campus during that shooting. Believe it or not, all four cops stayed outside the school with their weapons drawn, three of them hid behind their police cars. Not a single one of those cops, armed with deadly weapons, by the way, and trained for exactly such a dangerous scenario, dared enter the school to confront the shooter. 17 people, most of them teenagers, died as a result of that shooting in February 2018 while the cops opted not to intervene. Now, before your outrage bubbles over, consider that the U.S. Supreme Court has repeatedly affirmed, most recently in 2005, that police have no constitutional duty to protect members of the public from harm. Yes, you heard that correctly. According to the U.S. Supreme Court, police have no duty, moral or otherwise, to help those in trouble protect individuals from danger or risk their own lives to save we, the people, the taxpayers. In other words, you can be outraged that cops in Florida did nothing to stop the school shooter, but technically it wasn't part of their job description. Welcome to the American Police State, funded by Corporate America, policed by the military industrial complex and empowered by politicians whose primary purpose is to remain in office. It's time to wake up America, get formed, get active, and stay in the battle. Tune in to Battlefield America on Newsbud.